Hello HighTechLeader.com, this is Skate and Eric here today to show you one of the latest in-win releases. This is their GR1. Now priced at around $160 retail, this is meant to hit that mainstream gaming market, kind of more leaning towards the high end uh, with a ton of expansion. It's a full tower, ton of features as well. Now if we take a look at the face here, what we see is you get uh, two USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, uh, reset uh, power button. They also have a little fan controller here. Uh, it's labeled silence and turbo. You can just kind of slide it left and right for high and low speed fans. Um, now, if you look at the face here, they kind of made it all match um, the ports, the 5.5 ODD ports. Um, you only get to use these top three here. Uh, what you do with these bottom ones is this just pushes in and it actually will just pop out. And then you can see right behind here, they have um, pretty much a gap here. Um, for, and then you have 240 millimeter intake fans right underneath as well. Now if we take a look at the top, uh, what we have here is actually a SATA port. Um, it's a dock right here. You just slide your drive right into this SATA port here uh, and you get you know both power and data and it actually just lets the hard drive rest along the top here it is kind of grooved down inwards as well um, on the back you have this thinned design for airflow um, there is a little mesh here on the side as well with air pockets so uh, I think this is removable it may take a little bit of work it's not an easy slide off slide on type thing because there is a little bit of room underneath here but it does go down as you go further back so you're really not going to be able to fit anything on top in the back here now on the side here you have a gigantic gigantic window and with I don't know if it's all their models or just this one this actually has kind of like an aqua tint on top of it so if you do have any kind of colored fans underneath there uh, it might show up kind of weird uh, with this tint here um, the back is just held on with these th thumb screws here that just easily unscrew and then the door doesn't have any like special um, grooves or anything that you have to slide into really other than just the gap on the front you just kind of push it in line it up and then swing it over now if we take a look towards the front of the case here what we see is there are four five and a quarter inch bays but these bottom three are the only ones that are going to be front accessible this top one there is room there um, and you can stick something in there like you know a hard drive on a five and a quarter adapter or something like that and slide it in there but you won't be able to get front access with it and then as far as hard drives are concerned there are eight bays here this is a nice sliding bracket design and then what they have installed here as well is a, a giant 140 millimeter uh, fan there and then we have the two 140 millimeter fans right there now another key feature that you will find is on the bottom of the case here, um, you know, bottom mount PSU there uh, with uh, intake. You can also mount a 120 or 140 millimeter fan right here, or if you want, if you're one of those that likes to mount radiators at the bottom, this, these bottom three ports, uh, hard drive bays are removable. It is in a cage here. You just, there's a couple screws here and on the other side that you just unscrew this will slide out and then you can fit up to a 360 millimeter radiator along the bottom here now if we took a look at the back side here we do have uh, the eight expansion ports here um, there's a nice large uh, heat sink swapping CPU cutout on the back there uh, all of the cable routing holes have uh, rubber grommets protection grommets um, we get a top 140 millimeter fan and a back 140 millimeter fan included so total out of box this comes with five fans um, and then on the back side here they do give you the ability if you have a slim fan to mount one behind the motherboard and CPU because one of the main features of this is the ability to mount um, liquid cooling uh, on the top there is a gigantic gap here uh, that can fit up to a 360 millimeter radiator uh, if you take off the fan here and then mount the radiator up top uh, and like I mentioned before this top part there are some little they look like sliding feet here but uh, you know just with general pushing I wasn't able to take the top off I'm sure if, you know you spend a little more time you can wiggle it off or somehow get it off to fit some fans on the other side 
The rear of the case features four grommeted uh, cable routing or uh, liquid cooling hose ports. We have the large fan, exhaust fan, or mesh grill on the side here, bottom mount PSU, and the expansion bays. Now, as I mentioned previously, there is the ability to mount a 120 or 140 millimeter fan within this side right here. And then if we take a look underneath, um, there is a nice big gap here for cable routing. We have the grommets, the cutouts. There's even a cutout on the bottom here. Um, it's not grommeted, but it is a nice little area that you can route some of the power supply cables underneath. And then we just get another look on this side of the hard drive base. And there is a nice spacing here too as well for either using the 90 degree or the straight SATA cables. And that is a look at the newest GR1 gaming case from Inwin.